What's going on YouTube? Ichi here. We're back with another episode of the Silver Case. And um, I pretty much don't have an opinion on this yet because I need to see more of the story for me to get a more accurate opinion on the game. So I figured, you know, I'll try to I gotta try uh, another episode to get a better grasp of what's going on. And uh, if this makes it to YouTube, then you know, then you guys will see it. But if not, then you know, <laughs> you know, you don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, last last episode was um, straightforward. We got introduced to uh, a little bit of war, what's going on. The uh, silver case is involving Kumui, the super ultra badass uh, villain or uh, criminal. Uh, we don't know what he what he's charged with, but obviously it's going to be some kind of homicide. But uh, we didn't catch Kumui, but we we caught people who were like. I guess his worshippers in a way. It was, was kind of wild. Like a guy appears with this severed head, and he's like, you know, he's insane, obviously. But then we we end up chasing him towards Cauliflower, and E3 is his place in the in that district, and we end up finding a whole bunch of women and civilians getting caught up in this mess, and and they're pretty crazy as well. This woman try to hold us up at gunpoint, but we end up taking her out. So, like, I don't know what to expect from this game and the story. That's why I, I'm curious to play more so I can see and, you know, better get a grasp of what's going on here because I, then I can make a more um, accurate um, assumption. So, yeah. Uh, let's go into it. We, we finished Lunatics, which was case zero. I guess it was prologue. So, now we're on to case one, Decoy Man. So... I think that's pretty dope how there's music tied to each case, so that, that's just pretty dope. So this is gonna be our, oh shit, okay, 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 I like that. This game has a good soundtrack. I should've been playing this while I was talking. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, we met a whole bunch of characters. Uh, I don't know which ones are gonna be relevant and which ones the main characters. Obviously my character is, but as um the thing i don't like about games that have like your own kind of like self induced character is that the story doesn't like they're not very vocal in the terms of like story and uh, character development like they're pretty static as how like you know because you can't integrate them into like voice acting and stuff like that you know because it comes off as like pretty stiff like for instance games where you have like characters um, you know, your own character, main character, it's like a created a character when you customize them. Like, like Neo 2, for example, like the character is like so static and like they don't really do much or have much participation in the story. Like they're more reacting and like they don't really have a voice either. And like that's the limitations of having your character be like self introduced, you know, is that they're very limited in how much they can actually um, progress the story and uh, participate in the story. Because they're more uh, reactory. Is that a word? Reactory? No, it's not a word. Reactive. <laughs> Making up words. Look at me. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into decoy, man. Yeah. I probably uh, I seen the intro. I'm probably let the intro rock, customize it a bit for this series if I uh, continue it. Like, I don't know yet if I'm gonna do it. That's why I'm trying to play more so I can see how I like it. Harakiri Batting Center, 548. Secret Meeting. Decoy Man. War 24. Mina, who? Tetsu Kamui's not gonna make a move. I don't know who Tetsu is. Was that um Kusabi? Uh, and uh, it's Tetsu, Kamoi's, he's, Kamoi's gonna make a move. Yes, Kusabi. Huh? What the hell do you mean? He's gonna wake up. Is, is this info from your place? No. I don't know that much. Then what? Pocket money. How greedy. Don't overestimate civilian servants. 
How greedy. Don't underestimate civil service. Over time, before this quarter is getting cut. Fine. Never mind then. You son of a bitch. I'll shoot you at, I'll shoot your ass dead where you stand. Kidding, kidding. It's just a hunch, but I got my wisdom teeth pulled, right? At that time. What one time? Just before the silver thing. And so what? You trying to tell me that your tooth aches are supposed to be some sort of antenna for the shit about to go down or something? Exactly. That's it. What kind of jerk off in this day and age believes that superstitious bullshit? No, really, I'm telling you, it's accurate. You, you really should believe it. Right. And right about now, he's taking life slow in a clink. Probably even gonna... Probably even going and reform himself by now. Don't underestimate what my teeth can do. I'm telling you, they got a knack for this kind of second sight. Okay, then. I believe you. I don't get it, but I believe you. So what am I supposed to do now? Um... Oh shit, live action? Oh shit. Did she run good in heels? So are we seeing this right now? <laughs> My voice cracked. <laughs> okay, we get it, she's running. Are they gonna show who's chasing her or why she's running or? Uehara Kamui. Res Resident record control number. You see that? You see it. I don't gotta read it. Register locally. Not available. Current action not available. Date of birth not available. All points bulletin. March 1979. Oh yeah, narrator voice. March 1979, a Central Police designation case, QF861, aka the Silver Case, arrested during commission of crime, August 1984, received diagnosis of extremely high level mental disorders, criminal trial cancelled, September 1984, decision made to apply special measures, committed to the site ward at IMM Hospital in 24th Wards. Begin concealing in general treatment. Length of period undis undisclosed. The criminal of legend awakens. March, 20, March 27th, 1999. Continuing his treatment at IMM Hospital, Kamui murders a hospital worker and escapes. The violent victim was the victim was Kamui's personal counselor, Yuriko Sonata, 26. The weapon was similar to a customized harpoon gun. Estimated time of death between nine, uh, between 10 o'clock and 11 p.m. At that time, a tracking surveillance satellite in geostationary orbit began tracking the point representing Kamui. At 11:15 p.m. of the same day, deployment of a public safety. Deployment of Public Security Department Special Forces Unit Republic has decided. At 11.45 p.m., Republic arrives at the woods in E-Ward to which Kamui has escaped. Operation Secure Kamui begins. By 11.55 p.m., Republic fails to secure Kamui. Two killed in duty, two injured. Just past midnight at 12.38 a.m. on March 28th, the satellite tracked on Kamui disappears. Kamui is assumed to have gone underground in an untrackable area. 24th Wars Heinous Crimes Unit 2 Special Agents Tatsuguro Kasabe and Sumui Kodai head to the scene of the crime, IMM Hospital. 
decoy men. So he was right about his teeth. Calmly escape, kill the nurse. Who was that running? March 28th, 1999, Sunday, I am in my hospital. 7.04 a.m. Leg work. Yeah, we gotta investigate. Man. <laughs> he fucking called it. Sumio. Oh, Sumio. How's he gonna sound? He looks cool. What's that cool dude? I'd probably just be my regular voice. And... <laughs> Excuse me? No, it's nothing. Just talking to myself here. Tachibana. Richard. Nah, that's, that's the other guy. That's not Sumi's voice. <laughs> Until yesterday. Um, um, no, this is Inomata. Inomata sounds like this. Uh, 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 until yesterday, uh, Kamui Umahara was going through the, the usual circular, uh, circulabium curriculum. What am I reading? Uh, until yesterday, Kamui Umahara was going through the usual curriculum at this isolation ward. He seemed totally fine. So that totally fine patient murdered his counselor and escaped. What a lovely fucking story. Any problems with the system of management? Nah, but there are always two personal security guards present. I don't think there are any problems. So you got two amateur ass rent a cops on a crazy serial killer. Yeah, that's real smart. That's basically like begging him to murder someone. Nah, look, 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 look. Kamui Umrah didn't have the capacity to take care of himself normally. We didn't think it was a threat. He has extremely uh, debilitating mental disorders. He does not currently possess the capacity to kill or hurt anyone. So he's all broken down. Now that, that's the that's a pre uh, prejudice. That's a pretty prejudiced viewpoint. There are cases which are not directly linked to mental mental breakdown. Well, whatever. So the main point is Kamui's not here then. Th thank you, Doctor. We appreciate your cooperation. You know, I, I get it now. Some, some detectives really can be somewhat difficult individuals. Just like on TV. Yeah, this is real fun. Same here. I guess there are quack doctors everywhere too, huh? Nah, I sure like to be your personal physician. Anyway. That dick just won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> It's sort of your fault, you know. You were pretty rude to him. The ghost of Conway, huh? So, who the fuck is this guy? He's been sitting here the whole time. Fucking creepy. He's a sole survivor from the Special Forces. Real name? Unknown. No registration found at all. We found signs of it having been deleted. His code name is Ichi. <laughs> Sounds pretty f sketchy if you ask me. What a fucked up story. You come into contact with him before at the Cauliflower. Oh, oh, you mean that chinchilla? Ah. Oh. So you're saying he only came back alive? Commander Natsumi is currently in the ICU. I know. Natsumi isn't gonna die. We'll be going. We'll go over the plan one final time. Target all points bulletin. Yeah, you see the number right there. I don't gotta read it. Our goal is to bring Kamui Umahara in alive. The target is thought to be armed. We don't know what sort of weapon. Armament level Z. Bring him in? If we're capturing him with level 
Z armaments then. Why? Save your questions for later. Shut the fuck up. I'll continue. Before I'm really interrupted again. Oh, but I, I have another question. You shut up. I'm still talking. These orders are from up top. Just follow them. Don't think. Keep your shit together. Oh, I got it. Okay. Damn, so, so like uh, Sakamoto died and Inaba died and I was the only survivor left, huh? And he, he's all fucked up. He's nice to you. Intensive care unit. According to the satellite tracking data, the target doesn't seem to have left here. Lower the target to point GF03 and secure him. Clean everything up within the 100 second countdown after we begin. That is all. What up? About the armaments. What is it, Sakamoto? What if it's difficult to bring him in alive? Our main goal is to bring him in alive. We... We're going to find ourselves at extreme disadvantage. This plan needs to be a guaranteed unit survival rate of 60 in order to be approved. Fill in the remaining 40% yourselves. Got it. Depending on the situation, I may join you. Good luck. Don't die. Enema, chill out. He's only one guy. This will be no problem. Right? Hmm. Look at Ichi. This guy has wiped out his emotions. Don't equate me with him. Frigid bastard. Then fucking control yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just gonna die. Die, huh? I'm gonna die? Just me? Not you? Or Ichi? Fuck out of here. You know, matter. Will you shut the fuck up? Even that cauliflower. Oh, even that cauliflower? Only I got shot. By some regular citizen. That little punk bastard. It's because you underestimate the power of crime. Even a normal civilian, if their desire to hunt a person is high enough, has the power to commit a crime. They can even be tougher than us. You get you get that, right? Inamada, you are best in terms of that power. It's impossible. I can't. You need to have more criminal power than that target. Disposal is the same as a crime. Just hunt the target. Keep that in mind. No, I, I can't lose. I won't lose. If I think of it as hunting, I can't be beat. It's the same as in training. As far as the ability to secure a target goes, Inamata, you're better than anyone. I uh, know. You don't got to tell me. Yeah, apparently I do, because you keep bitching about it. You ready to, Ichi? Yeah, I'm ready. I got this shit. Keep your shit tight. We'll be, we'll be alright. Commencing operation. Chief, we're ready to go. Okay. Turn your radios to channel 2. Remove on my zero count. Execute the mission. We'll enter formation once we find the target. Sakamoto, you move ahead until we find the target. March 27th, 1999. Saturday, Republic. This is gonna go bad. 11:45 p.m. Follow the target. Follow the trail. Here we go. It's dark as hell, man. The trail splits like. Do we see footprints? No. Guess we'll keep going forward, I guess. It's dark as fuck. Target found. 
We're moving. Okay. Spread out and lure the target to GF03. Got it. Inamata, get to my left. Ichi, follow the radar directions. Don't be late. Got it. Yeah, I got you, Sakamoto. So I go back, I go back this way then. Sakamoto, you're too close to the target. Get some distance. Got it. Sakamoto, do you read me? Get some distance. Is this thing broken? Nobody hear me? The display distance individual don't distance doesn't match. Inamata, Ichi, do you read me? Confirm target distance with your scopes. Hurry up. Target lost. Currently at Huh? Sakamoto! Sakamoto! What's going on? Sakamoto, respond! Sakamoto! Chief! Sakamoto's callback! Yeah. Continue the mission! Fuck him! <laughs> Everybody keep your distance and follow the target! We, can, we can't fail this! Keep the distance until I join you! Chief! Chief! You bastard! Hey, hey! Keep following the mission! You're a soldier! Don't fuck around, you idiot! Fuck off! I'll hunt them! I'll kill them! Ichi! Keep that bastard aligned! Continue following the radar! Alright. Keep formation! Move where you're told! That's what I'm doing. It says go up, that's what I'm doing. Ichi, what's the situation? It's not looking good. I got a body here, Chief. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck. Ah. Hmm? Fucking come away. I'm heading towards Ichi's point. Inamata, be careful. I'm moving ahead. Inamata, do you read me? Damn it, what is he doing? Inamata, answer me. Do you want to die? He's gonna kill you. Fucking idiots. We're going against Kamui here. He's a serial killer. A well-trained individual. Keep calm. Inamata. You too? Did he get you? I'll kill him. Ichi, move forward. Don't let Inamata die. Ichi, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. What's up? Be sure to collect my body. Yo, 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 going kamikaze ain't gonna solve nothing, man. Even if we end up killing each other. Inamata, get back to the mission. Don't let Sakamoto die in vain. <laughs> Just obeying orders will get your ass done. Remain calm. Chief, thanks for everything. Yo. Inamata! What the hell? Is he dead too now? Ichi! Yeah, they got him, Chief. Ichi, I, I know, I'm aware. Move to point GF04. Fall back. We don't, we don't need you dying too. The mission has failed. Everyone's dying, <laughs> left and right. I repeat, the mission has failed. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Nobody's listening, everybody's dying. Ichi, I'm glad you're okay. We lost two, the mission failed. 
there are no excuses. Well, there are excuses because these motherfuckers don't listen to, <laughs> to, to me. And I'm the chief. I'm running shit here. Nobody want to listen. I tell you, keep in formation. Nobody stays in formation. They want to go off in the venture on their own. And then they get killed. <laughs> Retreat. We can't allow any further sacrifices. I'm not dying on this mission for nothing. Neither are you. I ain't letting more of my subordinates die. Eat you. Laugh at me, <laughs> will you? The only thing this old man can do is get his revenge. Conway will be showing up soon. Right here. Eat you. Do you know the phrase? One shot, one kill? <laughs> the answer is inside Conway. Don't let him get to you. And remember, Ichi Gekix, he sucks. Kamui isn't here. Kamui is right next door. Kamui is just peeking in. You get, you get me? No, I don't know what, you, what the hell you talking about, Chief. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. But I support you. <laughs> it's time we said goodbye. Take care. Is that Kamui? That he just popped up like a ghost and took the chief out? Yeah, I guess so, huh? This is the next day, Sunday. In the morning, 9 9.21 a.m. Records, investigation. All right then. So you remember, right? The special forces unit was destroyed. What happened? Tessu, come on now. What? He isn't right. Huh? Hey, you listening? He's in a state of psychosis. He's in a state of psychosis. I don't think he can speak. Uh, well, looks like it. So what do we do now? Uh, I guess we got no choice. Should we head out? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Turn on the recorder. Yeah, you're right. Huh? It won't work. The battery's dead. Well, that's useless. Whatever. Just write it all down. Okay. Look at this guy. Well. You even forget this guy's face? Sumio. Quit fucking around with the recorder like a little kid. Hey, you're <laughs> chill, old man. I know, I know. The fuck you say to me, asshole? Call me old. I'll blow your fucking head off. Fine, whatever. Let's stay professional here. Just ask the questions. Yeah, well, I know. I know how to do my job. Eight hours ago, the guy you guys were chasing come away escaped to the woods near the isolated ward. Then, well, there was a chase and the special force was then destroyed. Sakamoto and Inomata were killed in the line of duty. Natsumi is still out cold in the ICU. Tessu. Yeah. So one more push, huh? Don't. Why not? Why not? He's extremely delicate. Any more and... Delicate. Huh? Tsumio. Hamasai. Where's Kusabi? He's here. It's an emergency. Get to the scene. Get to the scene right away. Where to? Sending it over now. See you all at the scene. Wait. She fucking hung up. Damn. What should we do? We go, obviously. No, I. I mean, 
What? Ichi. Huh? What do we do about this? What do we do about this? He's the sole witness. We still gotta get his testimony. I mean, statement. Testimonies in court. <laughs> Confusing with Phoenix, right? <laughs> so we bring him. But without Dr. Tachibana's permission, we can't bring a patient out. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Take Ichi with us. He's a soldier. He's fine. This isn't something personal. We can't just do that. Hey, hey, hey. We're doing it. Fuck off. Seriously? Yeah, we're doing it. Come on, we're going. <laughs> huh? What's up with this chinchilla anyway? Chinchilla? It's kind of a shitty nickname after all. This guy, he's got a face like a fucking private detective. In that case, maybe like private dick chinchilla. <laughs> no, that's not it. He's sort of a big guy, big private dick chinchilla. <laughs> no, no, that, 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 no, that's terrible. I got it, I got it, I got it. Just shorten it to big dick. <laughs> big dick, are you serious? We got time for this right now? Big dick, yeah, big dick. I like it. That's a cool sound of nickname. <laughs> That's it. Big dick. <laughs> what do you think, Samil? That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go, big dick. <laughs> what is this dialogue? Like they seriously wrote this in the in, in the script? Take a drink of water. They seriously wrote that in. The story is nuts. <sighs> so where are we at now? Sewer lines. But they found the body washed up or something. Like bodies uh, that's been in water are real nasty because you know, like the human body, like a sponge, they sort up, slurp, <laughs> soaks up all the water, and they, be, you know, the body becomes all bloated and nasty. It's pretty gross. So where to? Just past this sewer. All right, you the one guys here? Yeah, they're here. Hachikawa and uh, Morikawa should be. They sure are quick to jump on an easy score. Well, let's hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, come on, big dick. <laughs> Sewer lines. Crime scene investigation. You ever run around in sewer water? Oh, that's real. That's real nice. No much shit and disgust is in there. Morikawa. What's his West Coast? He looks like a hippie. Well, you're late, Taisu. We're not sitting around on our asses like Unit 1. Whoa, chill, bro. Who's this guy? This is the witness. We brought him here from the hospital. Well, I heard from Natsumi guys. They went all down. Yeah, this guy's the only one left. Whoa, that's, that, that's a bummer. Some sort of superhuman, huh? He's like Superman. Well, nah, he's the big dick. <laughs> Whoa, big dick, huh? Nice to meet you. This is not some special little guy. Be nice to him. Well, of course, bruh. So, who's our guy? You didn't hear? It's Kamui. Oh, fuck, it's Kamui. Oh, shit. You mean the silver? Kamui, right? So, you remember, huh? Well, bro, I mean, I, I smoke like 10 pounds a day just to forget that crap. Man, I, I mean, how could I forget? You know, Ka Kamui, man. Whoa, Jesus. What about this one? Well, it's, a, it's really messed up. It's like, oh, 
Yeah, she got strung up there. Can't I can't even. It's been uh I've been it's been a while since we had a nasty one like this, bruh. So it was him. Him. Oh, Conway did this. Yeah. No fucking question. This was Conway. But but how? With that weird harpoon gun. He's got four people with it so far. Yeah, he gouged out the different parts of, you know, the, the body. Get her down now. Come on, hop to it. Fucking Christ. What's up with the body? Take a look. We're just getting started. Seems like not much time has passed. Can you just keep quiet for me? Who's this? A special survivor. We brought him here just in case. His name is Ichi. But that's big dick to you. Well, uh, okay, um... Uh, I smell a sexual harassment lawsuit coming your way. <laughs> Whoa, yo. Yo, chill, Hachikaro. Just joking. Well, uh, hi, Ichi. My name is Hachisuka. He's in a state of shock. He can't speak right now. Well then, good thing you brought him along then, huh? It was Tetsu. Don't blame it on me. Kasabi. So, we can't move forward. Yeah, we can't move. Do I just keep talking? Uh, nice to meet you, big dick. <laughs> uh, so, I can't move, bro. Where are my tools right now? Nothing. Movement. Cop B, cop A. Yeah, who's this Kamui? Uh, I don't really know either, but apparently he's some kind of top secret killer. But I never actually heard of him. There's all this rumors before. Nobody thought he was actually a real person. Why is why is this all not publicized? This world is full of fully unknown. I thought it was just all made up stories. There's lots of stuff like this that little guys like you and me just don't know. And will never know. Crime is just like the, the darkness. It isn't meant to be seen. That makes sense, I guess. Oh, Steel. Get, get this out of the way. The inspector. Approximately 12. Oh, he says right now to me. Um. Uh, approximately 12 hours since the time of death. It looks like the decor, the decay is progressing, but a lot of water has entered and the skin is simply swelling. Well, 12 hours. It was Kamui. The time frame fits. Five hours between the woods and, and this. That would be enough time. Got an ID. Oh, not, not yet. Let's hurry and find where it happened. So he didn't actually kill her here. No. He did it somewhere else and then left her here. So it would stand out more. He's trying to cover his tracks. Well, I'll handle the ID. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Sumio, take a look around. Roger that. Hachisuka. Where is Hachisuka? Where'd that bitch go? She left. She left? Yeah, to attend the autopsy. She just left with the coroner. Uh, without you fucking saying anything? So much for teamwork. That sort of research is important, so. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. How about it, big dick? <laughs> you remember anything?
What the hell? Like this shit just weirds me out. It's like what is what is this? Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Is that a doll? In the bright and dark plaza, everyone played together in harmony and killed each other. Without wonderful smiles, the late the gentlemen laugh happily and say, Do you want to be happy, baby? Do you want to be happy, baby? Do you want to be happy, baby? The gaudy men said it three times in a row. Everyone looked so happy and answers. I'm gonna be happy, Mama. Everyone wants to be happy. This is the narrative voice don't fit here. This is like weird. I can't wait for the fun of weekend. Uh, what's up, big dick? The hell is that? It's a doll, right? Yeah, it's a doll, but like, what the fuck is it doing here? Shit, I got no fucking idea. That's creepy. Babylon Street, the sewer, the route circle. So, what does this have to do with the crime scene? And uh, Camille. Oh, Kamui, I mean. March 29th, Monday. This is the next day. Office. Oh, we're chilling at the office, huh? 11 a.m. This game has a real good soundtrack. Heinous Crimes Unit. Unit 1. Kotobuki. He looks cool. Damn, what's his voice gonna be? Uh oh, Naka, carry one together. I want to gather this one and events leading up to here and how we'll all move forward. Having the 24th Ward Heinous Crime Prevention Chief Director, Kotobuki Shinji. Ha uh ha, -huh, get my name right, bitch. It's Shinji, bitch. Kotobuki. I'm Japanese, age 51. Male, sex, hell yeah. Affiliation, 24th Crimes, Heinous Crimes Unit. It's nothing I like more than bitches. Call me Kotobuki Shinty Bitches. HC, Heinous Crimes Unit Boss. Deeply insightful and very con conscientious, sympathetic. Oh, so he's a he's a good guy. <laughs> he's not he's not like a uh, shady. So that that voice won't add to won't won't, uh, won't match. <laughs> I just assumed because he was smoking, he had this kind of attitude to him. Deeply insightful, very conscientious, very sympathetic. Consequently, his popularity is amazing. Kudabuki doesn't directly go out in, into the field, but he provides critical, crucial support from the sidelines. Cases are never solved by chasing them. From Kotobuki's pin, uh, point of view, you have to wait patiently. He is a man who knows how to manage people. Who's this? Who's Naka? Who's this guy? So many voices here. Ah, uh, hmm. Um. Well, I got it. 24 Wars, Heinous Crimes, Unit 1, Special Agents, or Mori Chikawa, Naka, te Naka Tegawa, Naka Tegawa, Mori Chikawa. That's a m fucking mouthful. Naka Tegawa, Naka Tegawa, Mori Chikawa. Japanese, 35, male, affiliation. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, a weapon, a SIG Pro. An eccentric man who usually works in investigations alone. Originally from the Public Security Department, he has connections all over the place. 
He's also close with neighboring jurisdictions to force an investigation with his own info. His trademarks are his slick back hair and press shirts. Hurry the fuck up and get it done. 24 heinous, 24 wars, heinous crime, unit 2, special agent, Kasubi, Kasabi, Tetsuboro. I'm Japanese, I'm 44, I'm male, and I like sex. <laughs> 24th Hades Crimes Unit 2. My weapon is a co officer to ACP. I'm quite a lovely. I'm qu Wait. Okay, out of loyalty. Out of loyalty to veteran Detective Kotobuki, he joined the Hades Crimes Unit upon his, its establishment. He sometimes acts as Sumio's stopper and sometimes troubles the younger agents with his explosive behavior. More afraid of being hated by his daughter than anything else in the world, Kusabi is seriously considered quitting smoking. Currently, his biggest source of worry is his eldest daughter, Tariko's overseas studies. Let's get this started. 24th Wars, Heinous Crimes Unit 2, Special Agent Godai Sumio. I'm Japanese, I'm 26, I'm male, and I like sex. <laughs> And his crime unit, and my weapon is a Sig Saucer P229. The backbone of the 24 Wars AC unit. He works investigations together with Kusabi. Not one to conform to nor conflict with the police force, he knows his place and puts all of his focus on crime. Where's Morikawa? 24th Wars. Oh. 24th Wars in his crime unit, Unit 1. Special Agent Hachisuka Chizuru. I'm Japanese, I'm 25, and I'm female. Affiliation 24th Wars in the crime unit. My weapon is Saw Krauser P232. Assigned to the HC unit as Morikawa's partner, a beautiful female detective. Origin originally worked in a crime lab. She, she was she was a CSI. Her father's 24th Wars mayor Kaoru Hachisuka. Oh, so that's why we heard the name Hachisuka before. Her father's a mayor. Extremely serious and hardworking when it comes to her duties. She is quite proud and tends to stick out within the department. Not very well liked by Kusabi. Whoa, sorry I'm late, bruh. I'm 24th Wars, Heinous Crimes Unit 1, Special Agent Morikawa Kiyoshi. Uh, I'm Japanese, I'm 38, and I'm male. In sex, I, well, I can't say no. <laughs> Heinous Crimes Unit, oh, he sounds like fucking Kusabi. Well, I'm trying to do the stoner voice, but well, it's kind of hard to kind of <laughs> suppress it. And, uh, I think my weapon is a Beretta M925. <laughs> Join the HC unit together with Kusabi from the time it was established. One of the oldest members having learned the basics of investigation from Kotobuki. Known for his excellent investigation work, he is a support specialist. Cleverly using the truth to his advantage, his investigation style is veteran level. Strongly trusted by Kotobuki, he is usually tasked with writing up silver case reports. Nagatagawa. Uh, hello, this is not to Nakata Tagawa. Nakatagawa. Nakategawa. Nak Dan this name is fucking killing me. Nakategawa. Nakategawa. Hello, this is Nakategawa. Kamui Umaha has escaped from the hospital isolation ward and killed four people. <laughs> he is currently still at large. Kamui is assumed to have made his way into the city where he is currently in hiding now three things first off there's something i like everyone to be uh, constant with the official name of this case is the Kamui case it's all good it's a simple name second i like you all to watch this video hachisuka start the tape yes sir this video comes from the god robot well, how thorough. Fast forward it. Come on, speed it up. 
Uh, I can't. This is all relevant. It'll damage the tape head. So we have to sit through it. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Uh, just let it play. <laughs> this is the scene of the crime. There in the back where the consulate room is located. Yeah, so what? What about it? This is where the female victim had worked. At the time of the murder, she was wearing her clothes. Oh, so that was the girl who was running. This is where the female victim worked. At the time of her murder, she was wearing her clothes. Her own clothes. So, she was going home? Yes. So, what does that mean? Any hospital this lodge has changing rooms. The, jo the job requires a uniform, and due to rules concerning health and safety, wearing one's own private clothes while entering or leaving is prohibited. So, there was someone she wanted to see so badly she was willing to break the rules. So, she, so she is believed to have been meeting with Kamui in secret. Uh, this, the fuck with the wrong guy, this stupid broad. The fuck is wrong with her? Well, I guess she was luck sip. I, I assume. She works in the hospital, and after all. And what else? So, Kamui. Killed her. We got in some contents. Apparently, the victim, Yuriko Sonata, and Kamui were involved physically. She was fucking them. <laughs> yeah, so they were they were fucking, yeah. And it seems it's strictly one-sided from Sonata. Kamui was mentally uh, impotent, so... So, he was pretty much a f or something. Uh, whoa, Chief, you, you can't say that. We're in 2021, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, Chief, uh, you don't know how many doors that's gonna open up for uh, trouble. Uh, yeah, bro, we're in a... Uh... Uh, actually, no, the, the date of this game is 1990, so, you know, people said f all the time. That's how it was back in the 90s. I know, because this is a time period. <laughs> wow, what a lucky dude. To a woman, he may have been the ideal man. Like a doll with no emotions who will never betray you. A perfect man whom you can just set down by your side forever. You think so? You think that's what a woman wants? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so sexist. Wouldn't that be boring? Also, assuming all women like that pretty is pretty sexist. Well, it'd be more comfortable and easy, right? I mean, just chill, Hachisuka. Well, it would be easy, but still. Well, let's get back on track here. Stop getting sidetracked. Sonata seduced Kamui and lured him here. God damn it. So she seduced Kamui and he was killed. And then she was left here. Hold on. The lead is different, isn't it? Yes. In Yuku Sonata's case, the scene of the murder here, in the place of a body, he was dumped were the same. In Yuka Kamui's case, these Japanese names be killing me, yo. <laughs> and Yuka's Kawai's case uh, is two separate places. After killing her in her home, he moved the body. That's pretty complicated for Kamui. You got something else, Tetsu? No, uh, never mind. Here's the victim's profile. The victim is Yuriko Sonata, 26 years old female, worked as a, well, she was assigned female at birth. <laughs> she worked as a counselor. After graduating from her medical school, she started work at the hospital. Her most recent patient was Kamui. She had been counseling Kamui since about six months ago. Recently, they had been in some form of contact almost every day. The case of death is uh, is his specialized harpoon gun. The body shows signs of perforation in four places. Inside her uterus, we found traces of bodily fluid thought to be Kamui's. We're currently awaiting for a private ID. 
estimated time of death is between 12, uh, 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. on March 27th. This matches the time the track accelerates the gun track and come we almost perfectly. Next up is the profile of the victim found in Suez. Yuka Kawai, 25 years old, worked at the digital media sales firm. She was in charge of Conway projects. She too took shoot two shots to the head and one in each in the chest and stomach, leaving the same penetration marks as Sunata. Estimated time of death is between uh, 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. on March 20th, 20th, 28th. Excuse me. We're waiting on test results from further details. Uh, I'll leave the details to Naka. Next. All right, then uh, finally, I'll give a sample of explanation of Kamui's Umahara's history. Please take as much of this info as you can. He's not your run-of-the-mill criminal. This man has been completely overtaken by an evil darkness. Go ahead and toss common sense right out the window for this. This is all a photo of Kamui. It's from four years ago. Well, yeah, let me see that. Okay, if I may continue. With regards to how we proceed. That'll do. Unit 2 is the brawn. And you Unit 1 guys are the brains of the operation, right? That makes sense. That makes sense. That's basically right. Investigation Unit 1 is analyzing the database to try to predict how the suspect will move and where he will appear. Investigation Unit 2 will collect the data not yet in the, da in the database. Investigation a investigate the areas the tracking satellites can't reach. Everyone else await the orders. That's all for now. Let's get to it. I gotta change Morikawa's voice because he sounds too similar to... Um What's his name? Uh, Kisa uh, Kisubi, Kisabi, Wasabi. Who's that? Oh, that's oh, that's his picture. Kamui. Take a drink of water. This is Friday. This is a week. Heinous Crimes Unit 1. 